Well, it's Tennessee and Kentucky early in the game. And do our college officials think we have to start allowing things that is seemingly allowed in um, pro ball? I'll mute this so you can just see it. You see that? That is atrocious. What's this? Player gains control of the ball with his left foot on the floor. And then he just decides just to walk for a little while. Just take a little stroll, right foot down, pivot foot comes back down. Let's just scoot them both around a little bit, take another little step with the left foot, bring the right foot around. Just He's still walking. He'll be at the other end <coughs> before we'd hear a whistle, I think. See that? Now he caught the ball right here. And he started traveling, walking. He went so far he <coughs> needed a GPS. I mean, that's a long way to go. But you don't have to take but <coughs> one step to travel. Because if you lift the pivot foot, put it back to the floor, it's a traveling violation while you're still holding the ball. One, two, three, skip, skip. That's a traveling violation. <clears throat> and this is a tournament with the number two and number three team in the SEC. How do we not get a whistle on that? Somebody answer that for me. 